Hi, hello. To this day, drawing background is my kryptonite. I looked for background references on Pinterest and went like, okay, there's no way I'm drawing that. I know professional artists will tell you to draw the background first and the character later, which is true because it gives you an idea where to place the character and the colors affecting them. But what if you want to draw the character right now? Like, I just want to draw Megumi now and post it on social media, but at the same time, I don't want to leave him in plain white background because that'd be so boring. So today, I will share with you background ideas that you can do quickly with little effort, but still makes your art looks good. The first one is circle. Yes, circle is a very good shape to be used as a background. You may see circles being used in Art Nouveau because it's aesthetic and just brings out the focus to your character. But we won't be making this fancy and detailed circle because I can't. First, pick a background color. I choose blue and as for the circle, I choose pink. You can choose whatever color you want, but make sure to use warm and cold color combination. This color combination will make your drawing pops out more. Now your character might look out of place because of the colors, so use color balance on your character. Color balance lets you to adjust the colors of the shadows, light, and mid-tone separately, so it's really easy for you to correct the colors with it. And it's available in almost every drawing software. And don't worry if you're not satisfied with the background colors, you can always use hue and saturation to edit the colors. Now let's try creating a different vibe with the circle. Pick a very dark color for the background and a pale yellow for the circle. Now go to filter, Gaussian blur, and blur the rim of the circle so that it wouldn't be too harsh. You can stop at this point, but I'm going to add dark shadows on the torso with multiply layers so that the focus will be mainly on his face. After that, add some glow to the edge of the shadow and also on the outer part of the circle to make it more glowing. I'm doing this in add glow layer, which is only available in Clip Studio Paint, but I've listed the equivalence of add glow in other drawing softwares so you can try it out if you don't have Clip Studio Paint. Okay, let's move on to shadow on the wall. Basically, we'll create an illusion of your character standing in front of a wall and cast shadows on it. First, pick any color for the background. I suggest pastel colors so you can easily see the shadows. Then duplicate the character and place it below the original character. After that, set the layer on multiply and color it completely with solid colors. Not too dark though. Here I just changed the background color to a warmer one because as I was working on it, turns out I didn't really like the pink. Use Gaussian Blur to soften up the shadows and erase any unwanted parts, for example the shadows at the back of his head. Add a little bit of light using the Add Glow layer on low opacity. Okay, this looks a bit boring, so let's add another shadow here, like there was a cast shadow from a roof or something. Don't forget to cast the shadow on his face as well. And also, Gaussian Blur both of them. I don't know why it's called Gaussian Blur, I think it's named after a mathematician or something, which raises more questions for me. And then erase the top part of Megumi's shape shadow, color balance him, and you're done. Next one on our list is the halo. If you want to turn your character into a divine being, you can try this one. First, create a bunch of lines and then duplicate and rotate them. You can make the lines as much as you want and place it behind your character's head or wherever you want your audience to focus on. This is optional but you can also cut out a circle in the middle and erase the outer part of the lines. Or you can combine it with pale yellow circle and add a bit of glow around the canvas. If you think the halo doesn't look divine enough, let's try the spotlight. First, cover the background with dark color. I like to apply even darker color on the lower part. Then, apply darker color with multiply layer on your character. With add glow layer and soft airbrush, apply light color of your choice on the top of the background. Keep in mind to make it narrow at the top and wider at the bottom. Now erase the darker color on your character and add subtle light on the upper half using add glow and I'm adding more light because it was too dark before. I also add some rim lights on the character. Okay, now since the head is closest to the light source, let's add stronger lights on the top of his head. At this point, I kind of regret having Megumi as the subject because of his gravity-defying hair, 
so sorry Megumi. Anyway, you can add floating stuff in the foreground like tiny pieces of paper or this flower petal brush I found in Clip Studio Asset Store. Okay, hi, sorry, I think this flower petal brush is a default airbrush from Clip Studio Paint because I can't seem to find it in the Asset Store. So if you're using Clip Studio Paint, this brush is called Droplet and you can find it under airbrush. Okay, bye. Don't forget to apply Gaussian Blur to give an impression that the petals are in the foreground and add some glow. Alright, let's try a more sophisticated background with this effect. It's called Boki Boka Oboke. Okay, it's basically out of focus lights and background from city lights, cars, or even trees. For this background, it will be so much easier if you have the custom bokeh brush. Because look, instant background. Or you can also create it manually with hard round brush in low opacity and just create random dots and then blur it. But I'm lazy, so custom brush it is. I've put the link of the bokeh brush I'm using in the description down below, and I also link similar brushes for different drawing softwares. Anyway, add some glow in the layer below the bokeh, and also apply rim light to your character. Rim light makes everything better. And adjust the background with curve tool if necessary. Last but not least is the ultimate cheat background you can use every time you're stuck on creating one. And that is... No background! Yes. Okay, before you judge me, this no background thing can really change the vibe in your drawing. Instead of focusing on the background, we're going to make some edits on the character. First, apply darker color with multiply layer on top of your character. After that, add some lights with add glow layer. But only add the lights on the outer parts of your character. Now add rim lights, but not too much and not too bright because the background is plain white. And finally, use color balance. I'm changing the tones into more blue and green to make it more gloomy. Okay, see the difference? The picture on the left is Megumi just chilling, you know, but on the right, it's like Megumi is about to turn around and leave you and move on with his life. Now, of course, in order to draw better backgrounds, we need to practice properly. This is just a quick and easy way to whip up yourself a background when you're in a hurry or just can't wait to post your drawing online. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And tell me what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!